How to verify an Ansible project signature? A step-by-step -step guide to verify the signature using the Ansible-sign command of a GPG-signed Ansible project. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. What is Ansible-sign? The Ansible-sign command has been available since 2022 for installation in the most modern operating system. It is a command line tool to simplify the project signing process using your terminal. Using the ansible-sign command, we can verify the GPG signature of any Ansible project. And now, demo time! I'm going to show you how to verify the signature of an Ansible project using the ansible-sign command line utility. At the beginning of this example, we start with a project with all our Ansible files already signed with a GPG signature. By the end of this demo, we will verify if the signature is correct for the current Ansible project directory. Are you excited? Let's get our hands dirty! Yay! Welcome to my editor. Let me show you the directory structure that I received from a colleague of mine. So, I receive a project sign from a colleague of mine that has a manifest file that uh, specifies which directory are signed and why. So, it includes uh, the inventory file and recursively includes all the files and the playbook that matches the YML extension. It also included all the Git file, all the file under Git because usually we use this for project tracking. Uh, so let's take a quick look of the inventory file. This includes uh, the localhost um, local execution node and what is under the playbook directory. Oh, there is one ping YML. Oh, we know this module. Uh, use the ping module to test the connection for uh, um, if the host is available. So basically, it connects to the target host via SSH and uh, execute a Python script to test the connection. Uh, there is also an additional directory that is a dot Ansible sign that has a two files. One is a standard uh, uh, checksum file SSHA256 that uh, lists all the files of a manifest, so basically the manifest by itself, the inventory and the YML file under the playbook directory, but in my case only one, the ping. Okay, so basically this is the checksum of each file in the directory, and there is an additional file that has a .sig extension, that is the PGP signature of our project. Now. Let's jump to the terminal, so we can verify that this project is the same as the creator has in his computer, using ansible-sign command line utility. Yay! Welcome to my terminal. I'm inside the project sign directory. Let me take a closer look using the tree command line utility. Okay, it shows the same information as my editor and uh, also, let me specify that we would like to take a closer look under the hidden directory, preceded by a dot, ansible-sign. As a true file that we already saw in the editor. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's take a look about the ansible-sign command line utility. Well, command not found. This might happen because it is a uh, a pretty recent tool that was introduced by 2022 in the Ansible project. It's not in the full installation right now, so we need to install manually 
from uh, additional channel. My, the easiest one will be using the PIP, the Python uh, package manager and uh, let's specify PIP, uh, for example, uh, I'm using Python 3, so PIP3 install ansible-sign and in a blink of an eye is going to connect to the external, to the PyPy website and take a look on the dependency and install on my system. In my case, I was already downloading the dependency, so everything is ready to go on my workstation. So if I'm typing again ansible-sign, this time not getting a command not found, but actually the response of a command line interface. This is a pretty uh, nice uh, interface, so we can do the dash dash version and verify that we have the latest version, or with um, dash H, we got the help how to proceed. Okay, so uh, let me uh, take a look about, uh, so there is a project parameter and then two options, GPG verify or GPG sign. In my case, I would like to GPG verify the current directory dot. So the full command will be ansible-sign project gpg verify dot and let's take a look about the output oh well i wasn't expected such a bad one okay let's take a look uh, all together uh, it look like uh, unable to run gpg and also the last line is unable to run gpg okay so look like the gpg command is a command not found again so let me install using uh, my favorite package manager. I'm in macOS at the moment, so let me use a uh, homebrew. But you can use apt uh, or dnf, whatever is uh, for your current operating system. Okay, now gpg is uh, successfully installed. Let me verify with gpg command, yay! Let me interrupt with ctrl c, here we go. Fantastic. Now gpg is successfully installed, so we can type again the same command ansible-sign project gpg-verify dot. And we got a checksum violation failed error. Well, this error happened when some files are not the same as expected in uh, the checksum. Uh, in this case, uh, also, the second line clarify that there is an additional file ds underscore store that is not present in the signature. This is a, mm, a problem uh, from macOS that create this file for caching purposes. So let me delete this file and rerun the command again. Yay! This time the checksum was success successful. This means that all the files that I downloaded right here, right now, in my workstation matches the original one that the creator did. Oh, I forgot one thing, that I was already imported the um, gpg key that the creator sent me. So I was if I'm doing gpg list key, you can see that the public key and the private key of the creator, in this case myself, is present on my workstation. Um, you might have, might have to import some uh, uh, this key from uh, the other person, and the process is pretty straightforward, and usually it involves only some uh, simple uh, gpg gpg dash dash import and here uh, there is the name of the file provided by the other person. It's important because you need to have uh, the public key present on your system. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, we we have a successful uh, project validated. We saw how this uh, tool uh, react if some file are added and not present on the signature, but what if the signature was uh, compromised or mismatched? 
Well, let's simulate easily using uh, your favorite editor and uh, let's, uh, for example, alter the signature. For example, let me delete all this line. Okay, so now the GPG signature is uh, invalid and uh, let me type again the, the GPG verify. This time we got a failure on the GPG side. This means that the check that the signature doesn't match for it could be for a lot of reason. It could be a file altered by somebody. It could be by uh, the GPG key expired. Could be like a mismatch. Could be not the right one. You need to investigate the root cause because this is very very important for your project. Also, you can have more information adding the dash dash debug option to this uh, command line. As you can see, there is a CRC error that means uh, that something is not valid in our project. So if you obtain a GPG signature verification fail, it might be the point of uh, the head of an iceberg of some other type of problem. But these are the three type of situation that you can end it up using the GP, the Ansible dash sign command use with the GPG signature. Now you are fully equipped to test your project and I believe that the benefit outcome this little effort. Now you know how to verify an Ansible project signed with a GPG signature. So we explored all the possible uh, situations, some signature mismatch, some file mismatch, as well uh, as a successful Ansible project uh, verific verified uh, directory. And now you are fully loaded with the knowledge to verify any Ansible project. I'm sure this little overhead outperform the great benefit of having only code trusted in our infrastructure. This code will be the same as the creator have in his workstation, so we can verify that our executed code is exactly the same that was designed at the beginning. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you, so apply in your daily work uh, work uh, journey and have a great day. I look forward to automate more in your Ansible infrastructure. Yay!